Hello friends, welcome to Brain MD Fire and in this video we'll try to understand the concept of synchronous speed as well as we'll try to realize this formula which you'll be frequently encountering that is n s equals to 120 f by p okay so what is synchronous speed synchronous speed is the speed of rotation of the rotating magnetic field in a rotating machine uh, so what is rotating magnetic field i suggest you watch my video on rotating magnetic field to understand the concept okay here we will not be discussing that so how in a rotating magnet in a rotating machine the synchronous speed is realized suppose i have a 50 hertz of sap supply okay first we'll try to understand the relation with frequency and later on we'll try in the later half we'll be trying to understand the relation with the number of poles okay so if i have 50 hertz of supply what does this mean is hertz means cycle per second that we all know that is in one second in one second I have 50 cycles. What does that one cycle mean? Going from this 0 to peak to 0 to peak to 0. From this 4 to this 4, this is my one cycle. So 50 hertz means I have this plot 50 times in one second. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, da, 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 and 50. If one second this cycle is plotted uh, 50 times, then to plot it uh, once, the time taken will be 1 by 50, that is 0 0.02 seconds, simple mathematics. Now for a rotating magnetic field, what does that mean? See, suppose I have this two pole rotating machine, okay, I have this two pole rotating machine, this is my rotor and this is my stator windings, these are my rotor windings, so far so good. I suggest you watch the videos uh, on Radio Fire regarding the rotor winding as well as stator winding so that you can imagine how these windings are actually done. Okay. So in the rotor, my current is uh, flowing towards the top here and going, 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 going back here. These windings are like this, curly. Okay. So current is coming out from here and going in from here. So if I curl my fingers in the direction of current, then okay like this then this thumb will be showing the direction of magnetic flux or you can call it mmf or magnetic field that is it will behaving like this okay and like this this is my direction it is going out uh, from n and coming back from s So this, uh, the, if I want to find out the direction of magnetic uh, maximum flux, this will be direction of my maximum magnetic flux lines. Okay, and this is uh, simply in l nothing but like an inductor. These are the coils, and uh, I know if uh, this is my coil, then I think you are familiar with this, and this will be the direction of my uh, because it creates n here and s here. This will be the direction of my maximum magnetic flux lines okay now i know that emf induced th these are my two windings emf induced in a coil is maximum when its coil sides are lying in the maximum flux density position so at this position these windings are being laid in the maximum flux density position so emf induced in these windings will be maximum the direction of these emf will be uh, told by the lenz's law okay that you can understand i will not discuss it here okay so suppose i am starting from the position 4 my n is here right now if i uh, imagine this rotor at 90 degree backwards in the anti clockwise direction so if i start from here at that position the direction of my magnet maximum flux lines will be here downwards okay so no field lines will be cutting these conductors so emf induced will be zero that is this point in the graph okay this point okay if uh, this rotor rotates 90 degree clockwise that is the current position that is shown here the direction of maximum flux lines will be in this direction towards this okay at this position emf induced will be maximum this is position one this is position one emf induced will be maximum 
if i rotate it further clockwise to 90 degrees again there will be a position when uh, direction of flux lines will be this and no flux lines will be cutting these two conductors so emf induced will be again zero that is point two okay if i rotate it again 90 degree further in the clockwise direction emf will be induced will be again maximum in these two conductors because the n will be here s will be here but here i'll be getting a dot and here i'll be getting a cross that is this direction of emf and induced current will be maximum but in the opposite direction that is 0.3 okay if i rotate it again further clockwise in 90 degree i'll again be getting to this position 4 that is uh, uh, the direction of flux lines will be in this direction no emf induced in this windings because no flux is cutting these two windings and this position so i started from here my n started from here again got back here that is i completed 360 degree mechanical angle okay in one complete rotation i completed 360 degree mechanical angle and in that i completed this the one cycle so far so good in one complete rotation i am completing this one cycle okay in one seconds i have 50 such cycles so to consume this 50 cycle these 50 cycles in one second i have to rotate this rotor 50 times okay that is my speed of this rotor is 50 times 50 rotations per second if i want to find out in minutes it will come out to be 50 multiplied by 60 because in one okay 50 rps rotation per seconds multiply by 60 60 seconds that is one minute that is 3000 rpm i'll be getting I hope you understood this now if I increase the frequency to 60 Hertz that is being used in America and some other countries if I increase the frequency to 260 Hertz what does does that mean is in one seconds now I have to consume 60 cycles okay in one seconds I have these 60 cycles so to, uh, to go uh, complete one cycle the time taken will be 1 by 60 that is 0 0.0167 here it was 0 0.02 seconds 1 by 50 so my time has reduced to complete one cycle okay what does that mean is now i have to start from here again getting back here this one rotation equal is equivalent to this one cycle in electrical and this is in mechanical mechanical one rotation that is 360 degree is equivalent to this one cycle so this one cycle is taking lesser time that is 0 0.0167 seconds my this one rotation will take lesser time okay here in one seconds i have 60 hertz that is 60 cycles so to consume this these 60 cycles in one seconds i have to rotate rotate this rotor 60 times in one seconds so that is my speed what will be is 60 times per second that is if i multiply it with 60 to uh, find out the speed in one minute that will come out to be 3600 rpm that is if i am increasing my frequency the speed of rotation of the rotor has been increased and that is realized by this formula ns equals to 120 f by p if i increase the frequency my synchronous speed increases i am um, uh, making it 60 from 50 my synchronous speed is increasing that i have seen now we'll try to find out the relation with the poles okay so see these two figures again in the first figure i have two number of poles while in the second figure i have four number of poles we have seen that uh, uh, suppose uh, i'm talking about 50 hertz supply again okay? so for a two pole machine what happens i have two peaks i'll be getting two peaks as well as two bottoms see mm, let me adjust it yes yes now it's fine okay i started from point four one two three again getting back back to four in this rotation i am getting two peaks that is this okay if i have two number of poles i am getting two peaks okay if i increase the number of poles to four there will be four instances now when these stator conductors will be coming into influence 
of the maximum flux density position here there will be uh, only two instances that is instant one and instant three when these conductors were in the influence of maximum flux density position but here the positions will be four that is uh, the, when the flux lines will be in this direction okay now if i rotate the router 45 degree clockwise they will become uh, the n will come at this position at this position no flux lines will be cutting to any of the conductors so emf induced will be zero okay then it will come if i further rotate it 45 degree clockwise it will again cut um, it will be again cutting these uh, conductors and again emf induced will be maximum because this will be the maximum flux density position okay again 45 degree here i'll be getting zero okay again 45 degree here i'll be getting maximum flux density position max uh, maximum emf again zero again maximum again zero again maximum okay suppose uh, this is my position four of starting okay so here at position four i'm getting zero this is my position one i'm getting maximum this is my position two i'm again getting zero this is my position three i'm getting maximum but in the reverse direction this is my again position four okay what we are seeing that now to complete this one cycle the mechanical degree i have to rotate is only 180 degrees that is half revolution here to complete one cycle i have to take one complete revolution that is 360 degree but here i have to take only half of the revolution in one complete revolution suppose i have this point five six seven eight so after four i have i'll again be getting one maximum f position then again zero position then this maximum f position and again i'll be getting so i'll say it is four again okay so if i complete one complete uh, one revolution of 360 degree that is i complete uh, one cycle mechanical cycle i have to consume two electrical cycles that you can see here that is in 360 degree i have to consume two electrical cycles okay in half of the revolution i can consume one cycle in full revolution i will be consuming two cycles so far so good i hope you are with me in one seconds i have 50 such cycles okay in two pole machines to consume these 50 cycles i have to rotate my rotor 50 times in, in a second because uh, rotating it once takes me uh, takes one complete revolution so to consume 50 uh, to rotate uh, to consume 50 i have to rotate it 50 times but here one complete mm -hmm. rotation consumes two such cycles so to consume these 50 cycles i have to rotate this rotor only 25 times okay you rotate it once uh, you rotate it once for 360 mechanical degrees two cycles consumed twice four cycles consumed thrice six cycles consumed 25 times 50 cycles consumed i hope you got my point so for 50 hertz supply now i have to rotate my rotor only 25 times that is my rotational speed has been reduced okay if uh, we go into some little bit of mathematics the distance covered in 0 0.02 seconds that is uh, that was the time for 50 hertz supply to complete one cycle is 360 mechanical degrees into 50 times okay if i talk about uh, one second in one second i have to rotate it 50 times while the distance traveled here is 360 divided by 2 because in one cycle i have to complete only half of the revolution that is 180 degrees into 50 times for 50 hertz supply distance travel 180 into 50 cycles i have to consume so i have multiplied it 50 times here one cycle equals to one revolution here one cycle is half of the revolution in one seconds i have 50 revolutions for this in i have in one seconds i have to take only 25 revolution because one revolution is consuming two cycles so to consume 50 cycles i have to take 25 revolution only in one minute the speed will be 50 revolution into 60 that is 3000 rpm here i am taking only 25 revolutions to consume 50 electrical cycles and if i multiply it by 60 i'll be getting 1500 rpm that is my speed has been reduced so this was about the synchronous speed hope you like the video if you got some insight of the synchronous speed 
प्लीज डू लाइक द वीडियो शेयर इट सब्सक्राइब द चैनल थैंक यू सो मच